This is wrong for so many reasons. So who's taking the presents, Baldy? Keep an eye on this one. So, have the proper authorities been notified? They're on the way. Good. But anyways, Pat, sorry about this. No need. Of course not. Why would you want to apologize to the Shadow Warren himself? What? Did you say the Shadow Warren? You bet your bottom dollar I did. You're the only one Jeremiah respects. He said it himself. So clearly, you must have been the one to tell him to steal the presents. That's why he showed no sign of guilt. So, in light of this evidence, I have no choice but to declare you Pat Murphy, the Shadow Warren. The Shadow Warren doesn't exist. I mean, how cliche can you be? I mean, come on, that's exactly what the Shadow Warren would say. I made him up on a slow day to entertain the crew. You made you made him up on on a slow. So that means my investigation's over. Hey, buddy. Hope things between uh, you and Jane work out. You broke out. Really? Decided to take a break from relationships. Totally saw that coming. Huh? That's what I mean, bro. So, uh, how about you give me a call sometime? And I think I've got another mystery you can solve. Duly noted. You had it in your hand freaking finish vibrating. Whoever's on the other end of that line, they are important. Don't spend the rest of your... Is there anybody you do respect? For your information, there is. My uncle forces me to work here. His name is Pat Murphy. He's the general manager of the theater. He runs a whole business. He could just buy me whatever I want. And I do whatever he says. So, by the look on your face, 
I would assume that you finally pieced it all together. But you don't have to look at me like I'm trying to take over the world here. I just thought I would cause a little bit of mischief in the theater. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's January 6th. But anyway, I just thought I would come in here and tell you the truth before I leave forever. And where do you think you're going? I don't know. I've got family in Vermont. You think uh, they'd be comfortable with a professional criminal living under their roof after I expose you? You really think anybody's going to believe you? I mean, look at yourself, man. Nothing but a joke. Very like, poorly told one of that. The truth is never a joke. Truth. Now that, a funny word, isn't it? And since it seems to mean so much to you, why don't I just tell you a bit of truth about yourself? No one cares about Sheldon Haynes. You really think what you're doing here is important? You think that it matters? In a couple hours, people are gonna walk through those doors. They're gonna watch their movies and eat their popcorn, and their lives are gonna continue. And not one of them is going to think twice about Sheldon Haynes. Well, that's okay. I can see how it's so important to you. Because this is what? Your first case in three years? How do you know that? Oh, come on! I'm the Shadow Warren. I know everything. Like how many people you've tried to recruit for this little case of yours? But it's okay. They all had bigger and better things. More important things to deal with than you. And to be honest, I don't blame them. Because not only are you genuinely a bad detective, you're just plain weird. We beg to differ. We ran out of brooms. I thought you guys all left. We did, but then Shelly sent me a text message warning me. Shelly? What's the name? But it's Christmas. So, what happens now? We go back to living our lives. Merry Christmas. Hey, Sheldon. When's the last time you saw a movie? Why don't you come see one? Really? Yeah. Funny story. I never knew you were the nephew Pat was ashamed of. Shut up. <laughs>